friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo! How you doing? Good. We have drinks. What do we have? Chunky, funky, hunky monkeys. Just two. Woo! <laughs> They're so yummy. It's literally blended coffee with peanut butter in it, and it's so good. What more could you ask for? You know who wouldn't like this? That freak Alex we call our friend. <laughs> She hates peanut butter. Isn't that dumb? I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter, but I've told people I hate peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter is real, like, whatevs to me. She won't even eat peanut butter chocolates, though. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not like that. That's, like, gross. (laughs) I don't know what that's about. (laughs) That's a her problem. I don't endorse that. Yeah. (laughs) I don't endorse that kind of behavior. But, yeah, no, this coffee is good. We love these kinds of coffee. I don't drink blended coffee very often, but when I do... These ones don't hurt my stomach because not only are they made with oat milk, but they're not too sugary. That's where we get the littles. You can get a bigger one, but that's too much. And I've gotten the big one. Oh. Yes, I have, in fact. (laughs) And I enjoyed myself. It wasn't too much? Not necessarily because there's so much coffee in it that it's not ridden by the the you know what i'm saying it's literally just coffee that's blended it's not yeah, even, yeah, yeah, yeah so it's it's mostly just coffee it's not really the flavoring yeah i feel that it wasn't too bad but to be fair i didn't finish it i don't finish most coffees no she takes two sips and then it melts and then she throws it away okay sorry i don't drink my coffee like popeye over here like literally she's like or worse she goes like and then it goes that's how she drinks her coffee that's how i drink everything <laughs> yeah water exactly can't relate to that sentiment chunky funky monkeys chunky funky hunky monkeys dude i was just talking to billy about this the other day but like we've joked before on the pod about how like i need to i need a drink in order to eat i cannot eat without a drink well like, not only that what between every bite she takes a sip it's not every bite you guys are so fucking dramatic <laughs> it's not every bite it is often but it's not every bite okay um, I would never finish my fucking food. It would take me a million years to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, let's just say, like, everyone has their food, but I'm out of a drink. I will not eat until I get a drink. Nah, that's, I see that. Yeah, like, at a restaurant, I'll literally wait till they refill my drink, and then I'll start eating. <laughs> I can't eat without one. I just can't. Like, I... And maybe it's in my head. I have no idea. But, like, I just... It, it's like I, I feel like I'm going to vomit because I feel like there's too much food and I need something well, to wash it down. as a kid who did choke a lot when they were a baby, that makes sense that you have oh to, yeah you have to lube up your throat while you're eating <laughs> i need it hydrated constantly <laughs> yeah uh i so just like sense. can't i just i can't eat without a drink you're like that at the movies too huh yeah that's why i need my like drink. she'll get a small popcorn but an extra jumbo large drink soda yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. run it fuck it i don't give a fuck i don't care i don't care who knows <laughs> <laughs> my drink girls rise but sometimes don't you get a slushy <laughs> that's too much no oh that's billy my 11 isn't that billy no. billy gets a slushy he got it one time in front of him <laughs> every single time he can't drink those every time he gets fucking sick he's done it at least three times in front of me no he hasn't Jason. yeah no he hasn't <laughs> why would i, I lie know? about that i don't think you're lying i think you're exaggerating and i think that's <laughs> happening because I've been with the, to the movies with him a million times, and oh, I have yeah. Well, I'm saying I haven't even seen him do it three times. I've seen him do it twice, but one of those times we went alone. Mm. And it, we went alone, and he was like, I'm feeling crazy. I think I'm going to get a slurpee. <laughs> then he drank the whole thing, and then the whole ride home, I had to go, oh, my stomach. I had to hear that the whole ride home. <laughs> so I lost two times that day. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, what I was going to say about the drinking, me having to drink – or needing a drink in order to eat you know people drink beer with their meals how do you do that dude kill me i can't i can't i can i can can barely barely drink alcoholic like drinks with my food yeah and even then if i get a fun drink it's before the meal because as soon as my meal comes i need a water and And a soda soda. yeah well yeah yeah i need water and then if i want another drink i'll Mm -hmm. wait till after i eat and i drink my regular drinks and then i'll have a drink okay i can't do it I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. see that. Yeah. My, there's too much going on. I think it's just too much. There's too much happening. But like, you know how you talk about swallowing jeans? Yeah. That's what drinking a beer and eating a hamburger, that's swallowing jeans. Yeah. Like me. eating a jean jacket. Yeah. It literally feels like you're eating a beach towel. Like there's no way. But like a Sam's Club beach towel. Like a yeah. One. Sam's Club. Like a thick ass a beach big towel. One. Yeah. You could fit two of us on <laughs> you're there. You're eating a duvet cover. That's what it feels <laughs> Not like. Not even the cover with the duvet with in the it. Duvet in the it. insert inside it. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how people do that shit either. I, a really, really citrusy light beer. I could drink with like 
an hors d'oeuvre. An appy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a fry. Yeah. Right? A couple fries here and there. Some pa- Maybe some potato skins. Yeah. Some calamari. Drew got jalapeno skins last night and Donovan was calling Girl. them pepper strings. Yeah. He's like, who got the pepper strings? Huh? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> they were so fucking good, what bro. What the fuck's a... So is it like potato skins, but they're just jalapenos? Yeah. I, how do you eat that in your... And it doesn't hurt. They dug... They dig the seeds out, so they're not they're not super hot. Oh, I wish I knew that. I would have no. taken a bite. Yeah, I know. I tried every... Ugh, I always have to do that. I, if it looks spicy, both Dacen and Billy will not go near it until I, I tell them. it'll ruin my meal. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't have very high tolerance. No, dude. What I was going to say was because I relived this memory with Billy, <laughs> like, literally two days ago. We were talking, and I go, dude, I was like, remember when I asked you um, if you had noticed anything odd about the way i eat yeah and the reason why i asked him was because probably after like the third date i had with billy dason goes do you think he noticed that you have to like drink after every fucking bite and i was all what and she goes do you think he noticed i go because i at this point in my life i know that but i think i'm keeping it real under wraps like i feel like people like when we were little guys like i I would be so scared to order my food at the restaurant so drew would finish her drink and she'd be like please let me have some yours i'll order another one when the lady comes yeah okay fine (laughs) I'll order for you. I'm like, okay. But yeah, I, I literally like, I was like, what do you mean? Like nobody would notice that. Like I was like, like she brought it to my, she goes, oh, okay. She just fucking threw a grenade and then ran away. (laughs) And then I was, and then I couldn't stop thinking about it. (laughs) So then when I went to dinner with him again, like that, it was, it was either that same day or the next day. I went to dinner with Dude, him again. these guys, when she was dating him at the beginning, you would have thought she was dating a Vanderbilt. They were going <laughs> to the fanciest dinners a you can. A Kennedy. A Kennedy. A, a fucking presidential something. <laughs> like, My date with the president's daughter. Literally, yeah. You would have thought she was dating. But like, I'm the man. You, but you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm, would have I'm thought. I'm Corey from fucking Boy Meets World. I'm his older brother. Yeah. You would have thought. <laughs> you would have fucking thought that she was dating like one of the crazy rich Asians. Like you. Like, yeah. you would've, you're can't, you're Constance Wu and then he's Henry Golding. Yeah. You would have thought. Very the amount of fancy did i'm not joking i've never been <laughs> no one has ever taken me this is true no one has ever talking about things are exit no one has ever taken me to a fancy dinner on a date ever in my entire life that's i've taken serious? i have taken people on fancy yeah. dinners no one has ever taken me on a fancy dinner Jason, no the no, most i don't want to laugh anymore no it is funny <laughs> <laughs> it is funny though but i'm, I'm saying it to be funny is it? <laughs> because the next one's gonna do it right Period. But no, I most of the dates I've ever been on have been in the car. I will not elaborate, but no, <laughs> you would have thought this fucking guy will. Oh, where's he taking you now? <laughs> this fucking taking her everywhere. It's crazy, yeah, literally, dude. And then for her first birthday, so they started dating in August. Her, yeah, her birthday is September eighteenth. Yeah, I remember he. She. I asked her, "What did he get you?" The and in September, I want to say because it had to. We been became for, official in August. Yeah, but, but we've been dating since June. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, anyway, so he. I asked her, "What did he get you?" So because I see her at dinner, I hadn't seen her all day. And she goes, "Oh, let me show you," and. Um, I want to say Fenty Beauty had just like debuted at Fashion Week, which is at the beginning of September. Yeah. And she was like, he bought me one of everything from Fenty Beauty. And I was like, no fucking <laughs> way. <laughs> you know who's ever, you know who's bought me Fenty Beauty? Me. 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 <laughs> and me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drew just bought me a lip oil. <laughs> me. I'm the first one to buy myself Fenty Beauty. <laughs> it was right when it came out. Everything was sold out. He got her at the foundation. The foundation the Girl. fucking the butter the sticks the yeah the contour sticks and then she was like oh and then he got me three of the highlighter three blushes highlighters, because he didn't yeah. know which one i'd want more oh because oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> drew's not gonna have really anything to share with today's topic which is things are x did and then we stayed i so well, i'm just showing you guys well, i'm just showing you guys the things <laughs> what we can achieve what we can hope for fellas out there <laughs> brothers in our brotherhood here's what we can be looking forward to <laughs> okay and we'll start with the positive and then end with all the negative stories (laughs) what i will say is okay first with the fancy beauty thing yeah i know i couldn't believe i was like please oh (laughs) rachel show it to me please (laughs) (laughs) show me please show me please i remember Uh, i was sitting in the floor of her room we were trying everything on i was so excited we um i remember yeah we had been we had been official for probably like three or four weeks when he gave that gift to me but he gave me a giant he gave me multiple gift bags but like the main big one he had all all hot cheetos in there because he knew i really liked them and i would had mentioned him on like our second date that i couldn't find this 
the specific flavor I wanted anymore. No. Oh, Rachel, show it to me, please. <laughs> Hurry up and finish this fucking story. No one cares. Anyways, he things, found those. Things that Drew did and he stayed drink after every bite. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know. I didn't even tell that part. Anyways, uh, yeah, Cheetos and then obviously all the Fenty Beauty stuff. And he had told me he went to Sephora and he said, like, he was being helped by, like, six women because they were all, like, I can't believe that you're doing this. Like, this is the sweet. I've never seen a guy do that before. And mind you, this is in 2017, bitch. So whoever the fuck wants to say, 18. like, 2018, yeah. I was like, whoever. No, no, no. No, 17. I'm sorry. It was 2017. Yeah, you yeah. graduated then. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was like, and this is, mind you, well before I had a fucking platform. Yeah. So when people like to say, like, he, he's clearly with her for the money. Girl, I didn't have any fucking no, money. He did it when she was. <laughs> When she was he broke. had all he had all the money when she was broke had no <laughs> she had no money all she had was anastasia dip brow and a dream and a dream girl and my forever 21 shorts <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah anyways uh what i was gonna say about the eating thing was that um after jason said that shit to me after like our third date the next time i went out with him <laughs> he went we we ate dinner and I didn't say anything and then like we were I literally remember where we were when I asked we were on the porch of mommy and daddy's house and I was using my house key to go in and I said hey I was like this is like a random question but like have you noticed anything about me when I eat and then he goes when you eat I go yeah like when we eat dinner and stuff like have you noticed anything He's a little, about yeah, my you eating kind of black out and levitate a little bit <laughs> when the food yeah. comes like He's squid like, you vibrate in place yeah. Yeah, literally super, like, fucking overstimulated. Because I just cannot wait. <laughs> to eat. Yeah, and he goes, and he, I'm not kidding. This is exactly what he said. He goes, mm, I mean, other than, like, the fact that you have to drink after every bite? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the way, I'm not kidding. When he said that, I was unlocking the door. It's literally burned into my head because I was so <laughs> humiliated for whatever reason. I'm, like, unlocking the door. He says that. I go, oh! And then I looked at him. I go, you noticed that? He goes, notice that you drink after every bite? I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, I noticed that. So it is after every bite. Like I said. Like I just said. It's not. That's hyperbole. But he was like, well, it's not every bite. Like, he's still trying to be nice. <laughs> well, I know it's not every bite, but, like. You do drink quite often. It makes me laugh because he makes fun of us for having so much hyperbole, <laughs> but he does too. No shit. He exaggerates too. Honestly, I've made it worse. Like, <laughs> I, I've enhanced his imagination. Everything is so much funnier when it's like, not real. When it's like times a billion, it's When I get funnier. to lie just a little bit, it's way funnier. Dude, I wish I could tell you a story. <laughs> I wish I could tell you a story, y'all. Hold on. I'll just like, I'll give you the parameter. We can't tell you for very specific reasons. Okay. But our mom <laughs> just told us a story. Oh, yeah. About, like, a a joke that she did. Like, a prank that she pulled yeah. on my dad. She's very Winston-coded. My this. mom is so Winston-coded, it's not even fucking From the funny. New Girl, yeah. if, you, if you don't know the context of Winston in the show The New Girl, one of the things about his character is that he cannot prank to save his life. If he does, it's either way too much or it's so little it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> My mom is, ex yeah. I'm not kidding. You want to know why we're so fucking silly? Like, this is the shit I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Like, we were raised around shit like this. My mom pulled a, a practical joke. It is so stupid and silly. And the only reason we can't tell you is because it, it, it will be obvious who it's about. She literally <laughs> held a bit for over a month. month. When I tell you six weeks, my mm -hmm. mom has been playing this trick on my dad for six fucking weeks. Not Six. just him, on me too. I know, but like yeah. specifically it was my, my dad. dad. Yeah. Because my dad, God bless him, is so easily embarrassed. Like I could literally be like, ooh, to my dad in public and he would be humiliated for a day. <laughs> like, and nothing happened to him. Like everyone looked at me doing that to him and that would humiliate him. And like, you know, the best thing about him is he doesn't get mad. No, he just, he gets so embarrassed. Yeah. He like, he just is good. Like, and he just like has to go home. Yeah. Like, you know like someone else we i'm know. not as bad <laughs> like, i'm not as bad like someone else we know <laughs> no chat chat don't chat don't <laughs> chat don't. comment down okay below i'm mad at you which one of the two of us you think that is <laughs> chat, i'm mad at you <laughs> so anyways 
I wish I could tell you all the details of it. Maybe there's a way I can figure out how to tell it without compromising. I'm trying to think of other bits she's done. Like, bro, no bit will ever pass. At least not now. That's no. the first place bit. That's the longest withstanding one I've ever My seen. My mom, I'm not kidding. Group called us on FaceTime so she could tell us this joke. Like she literally goes, I have the funniest story but I have to tell you together. Yeah. Like me and Days, which I hate when she does that because it's always, almost always tea. So I want to hear it now. And she mm -hmm. goes, no, 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 no. It's not cheese me. No. no. I got to tell you. I got to tell you when yeah. your sister's there. I'm like, okay. Literally called, called a family meeting so she could explain this joke to us. Mm -hmm. And she, man, did she take us on a journey. <laughs> and then at the very end, my dad goes, turns out none of that was true. Your mom was, your mom was just lying to me for no reason. Mm -hmm. And it's so stupid. Like, it's so fucking stupid. It's so dumb. But it was a bit my mom kept up for six weeks. That's crazy. And I we were laughing about it for so long. And then I was like, dude, that's insane. Like, I did yeah. not think no, that's I where. In the history of our family, that's the longest that's withstanding the bit. the longest running bit that's ever happened, yeah. dude. And for what? To like be, so because now, it makes her laugh that's it i know which those are the best bits like but i love, I love all, to trick people Jason does that all the time like dude really did that to me the other day remember when he was like yeah like he he said some comment to me like must be nice to be you and then i was like no he fucking didn't and then he goes he didn't i was just lying <laughs> he got that shit from us i have no one dude, to blame but myself tricking people is one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes i love to trick people it's just, just there's no point to it it doesn't hurt anyone. It's just so stupid. Yeah. And like, we couldn't stop laughing about it. And like, my mom was like, my mom also doesn't remember shit. Like, my mom has the worst memory in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, short term and long term. Like, my mom doesn't remember anything. There's no, maybe middle, medium term. <laughs> I don't know. But. I have no idea. But that, I said, I like how you'll forget a conversation you and I just had an hour ago. But my mom held on to that fucking joke for six weeks. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And didn't even, didn't tell anybody. Yeah didn't normally she'll kind of clue everyone she'll in, clue, like, or oh. she'll tell me in days yeah. or she'll tell just days or just me she's like oh i'm tricking your dad yeah yeah no no one not even donovan and she tells donovan everything too yeah no nope, not even him no he's a big mouth he's the worst person. <laughs> yeah he's the worst yeah person don't tell him your bit he'll ruin it <laughs> oh, accident but it'll piss yeah, you off for real anyways those are all my updates <laughs> what's new with you uh i've been obsessed with basketball this week yeah, Dayson's lesbian. Dayson's back into her uh, her My sports, sports era. era. This is just so much more interesting to watch than football, though. Like when I say I want to watch football, Dude. I'm always lying. I don't want to ever watch football. Of course I don't. <laughs> you thought I was being serious? I wasn't. Getting That's mad yeah. for no reason. I'm mad at chat. The chat. <laughs> the chat. No, I've been obsessed with women's basketball this week. It's been really fun. Here Exciting. Go Cox. Go Cox. Go Cox. Funny how the Cox win when we visit their school. You're year. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Gamecocks. <laughs> Gamecocks. That's how it sounds. All I right. feel like that's how you have to say it. Gamecocks. Go Cacks. Mm -hmm. They don't talk like that. Maybe they do. I don't know. We barely left the hotel, so. Unless I was going to the Ruth Chris inside the hotel. Yeah. At the Hilton. Dude, when we ate there. Um, that hotel was haunted. <laughs> it was. There was a, there was a sinister energy there in there for sure. There was some off in those rooms, yeah. Um, but when we ate, we ate at the Ruth Chris before we left. Yeah. And um, we were having fun, so we were like, let's get mimosas. And I was. Why? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Adam wanted to. Just kidding. Because yeah. we were being that silly. That is why. <laughs> That's 100% why. We were being silly. I think it was on Monday, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah, have mimosas on a Monday, you know us, at the Ruth Chris. Um, and then we were laughing, and I was being silly, and I was trying to say or and do something with my hands, and then I knocked Drew's mimosa onto her lap, onto her new purse, and then it almost ruined the day. But see, that's the beauty of being friends with someone, because <laughs> we're dating someone and having being friends and close to someone, people, mm -hmm. because everybody knows how to pretend like everything's okay, even when it's not. Yep. <laughs> We know how to swallow a feeling, that's for sure, bitch. Yeah. We're and the, trained. The first night there. Um, and I wasn't mad. I was, like, frustrated, not at her. It was just the a, circumstance, a, yeah. The circumstance, but it doesn't matter anyways. I had to return that bag because it tore, so it ended up working out. But but I did feel really bad. And it wasn't even that serious. Like, there wasn't, it wasn't like it was, um, what do you call it, a white purse or no, it wasn't. No, and it um, wasn't, like, damaged either from no, that. No, like, it was, like, a little bit of champagne on it. I just felt really bad. Yeah. But it's okay. Go Cax. So, technically, that was Adam's fault. Um, yeah at the end of the day i'm gonna blame adam yeah <laughs> no one gets mad at him at the end of the day i'm gonna find a way to blame adam for that so 
<laughs> but no, I think uh, that's all I've been doing this week is watching and paying attention to the the last few weeks of the women's basketball tournament. Happy for you. Fun. Hope it works out. Girl, I'm on the hunt. I'm trying to be a wag. You bitches think I'm joking. I'm not. <laughs> I want one to take me to a Ruth Chris that I don't have to pay at. Please. <laughs> But specifically the Ruth Chris in Columbia, South Carolina. There are so many lesbians over there in the Carolinas. Go Cox. Go Cox. <laughs> <laughs> but not really. But um, not. I'm trying to think what else happened this week. We've been obsessed with Cowboy Carter. We will be doing a more in-depth oh, review of what we think yeah. of it on our Patreon. We will. But favorite songs? Mine's Two Hands to Heaven. That's my favorite one. Um, I also really love Tyrant. Levi's Jeans. I love Tyrant. I love Levi's Jeans. Two Most Wanted. Yeah. Uh, Bodyguard. I don't I don't like that one. I love Bodyguard. Uh, Protector. All yes. of it, to be honest. I also love Jolene. I don't know if that <gasps> makes me basic. Spaghetti. Yeah, Spaghetti's really Spaghetti's good, too. Spaghetti's really good, too. I don't know if that makes me basic, because I really do like her version of Jolene. I fuck with it heavy. And honestly, her version of Jolene is me me core me i also like sweet honey bucking i and yeah. literally like two hands to heaven all the way down it's so good two hands to heaven's my favorite one though for sure literally every single song on the album is so good yep another album we've been obsessed with is that new metro boomin future one you knew that though bangers you knew that about me bangers a thoughty at heart you cut me i bleed thought <laughs> <laughs> and we also love the new glorilla uh Megan, Megan the Stallion song. Collab. Obviously, Collab. obviously Kaylani's new song. Dude. That's my fucking girl. You guys, we got invited by we, I mean my sister, which also means me, <laughs> got invited to go to the party that she had for it. And yeah. we couldn't go because it was in New York. <gasps> and I texted her about it and she was really sweet about it. And you know what? I posted a video, a gym video to her song, um, obviously because I fuck with the song so much. But then that was before it came out. But uh, she commented on it and I responded. And then some people were like, oh my gosh, like, she saw you, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, like, Kehlani, <laughs> <laughs> she, she knows me. We're friends. Me and Kehlani are actually friends. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, you and Drew, or you and Drew. I can't believe she saw you, queen. I'm like, Queen, she should both. be posted. I we, said, I felt like that two years ago when I she followed me. I got to watch me. the two of you meet for the first time at Beyonce's birthday show. Yeah, we did. We talked in the box. In the box. Uh, <laughs> Shut she was, up. And she was only in there for a little. She left. I, yeah. she probably, I think she went to, like. Probably, probably to go sit where all the famous people were. I think she was literally on the stage. I don't know what those those ones were called. Oh, those are like, um, like the there's like a certain tier of fan. I forget the name. It's For the her name and like Tia Mori, like they were all the girls are out there. Wait, are you talking about where Kim Kardashian and them are sitting? No, I'm talking oh. about the ones the bleachers that are yeah on, on the stage. Yeah, like where Jackie yeah. Ina at. Yeah, yeah, she was. I there. oh was she? Yeah. Oh, period. That's where I wish I was too. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we that's the first time we met in person, but we we talk all the time online, y'all. So that's why I just thought that was funny because they're like, Queen, she saw you, Queen. <laughs> I felt like that too two years ago. But she she uh is so sweet and so fucking funny. Like genuinely a, a cool ass bitch. Like she's as cool as she looks and she is as beautiful well, as she and looks. And like when people talk about queer pop music or queer sorry, just queer music in general, obviously they always bring up like the boy genius, Muna. Mm. uh chapel rowan, chapel rowan who also had a new uh single come out that's also really good that's so good that's another but bitch he, I fuck girls with. also girls everyone chapel rowan knows me too so if y'all see me interact with chapel just know that she already knows me i promise i'm not a weirdo <laughs> <laughs> When your two faves, when yeah. your queens are queening out yeah. together, the queens are queening. When the mothers are mothering together, mm -hmm. does the queen respond? <laughs> I'm gonna write that on every post you post from now on. Does, does the, the queen, queen respond? respond? Does the queen say hi? <laughs> um, oh, but people never talk about Kehlani, or not nearly enough. Period. I'm telling you, and we talk about her a lot on here. This is Kehlani, the singer, K E H L A N I. Yes, my fucking Check girl. It Check it out. That's my fucking Check girl. Love her. Also, um, another thing, some of you have, may have accurately guessed, but if not, I'll just say it. Yes, I was at the Questlove game night. <gasps> that was the secret we were hiding last That's week. That's where I was. Yeah. I didn't bring it up because for obvious reasons, wanted to wait to see Temp Gauge. Yes, I went. It was fucking awesome. That's all we're going to say about that. 
some of you guys, someone put me in a TikTok video talking about it, and every single comment was like, oh my god, I can't believe Drew's there! Which I was like, fair. I can't believe that fucking idiot I love from the internet got to go. <laughs> Which is so funny. But yeah, I was there. It was awesome. Um, no, I won't be talking about it, but it was a blast. And yeah, Drew took Peely. We were like, take him. Everyone loves him. Everyone gets mad at me, so don't take me. <laughs> But yeah. if you're going to something gay, you should take me. <laughs> yeah. Which is usually the case. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yes, that's where I was. And it was very fun. And what else? Hmm. I know. I think that's all my updates. I what? think those are all my updates, too. What were you saying? I forgot as soon as you said that. Oh, okay. That's you okay. said someone. That's me. Oh, someone had commented on our video last week where we were hinting at the game night. Yeah. They were like, oh, my guess was drugs. And I was like, why would we... <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Well, also, I'm an American. So if I do drugs, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. What are you guys I don't talking about? Well, no, it was an event. Was well, like, we, oh. and I feel like that was pretty obvious from what we were saying. But like, you silly gooses. Come on now. I was serious. Like, That's what I said. I'm a, I'm a grown man. So if I do drugs, I'll tell you. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> other than that, I think that's it. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. you have a big week this week. Oh, yeah, this week I am uh, doing five minutes at Caleb's still sold out LA show. At the Largo. Oh, at the Largo. So I will be there. I'll be doing five. By the time you all see this, it will be the next day. So mm-hmm. I don't know if it's sold out or maybe it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to do stand up for the very first time. So hopefully it's good. I hope so. It would be so embarrassing if it wasn't. Oh, God. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure it'll be a good time. I think so. Hopefully. This is me, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm yeah. excited. A lot of people are coming out to watch it, so it'll be really yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they sure are, girl. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into this week's episode topic. I think one of you suggested this, and this is also one of my favorite trends on TikTok. I think it's really funny. Yeah. And also, I will say... To the ex point that you made earlier, I did date a lot in college. So, like, obviously there wasn't much that I ignored, right? but yeah, there was some some stuff I did ignore. So, like, okay, for the sake of just, like, the bit, like, just wanting Do to, you like, have one? like, off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, I mean... Here, I have one. Okay, go ahead. I used to date someone who would never brush their teeth at night ever only in the morning and it was because they said that um it made their breath sink more when they woke up in the morning <laughs> so they never brush their teeth at night yeah or and they would never wash their hands af- if they went pee only if they pooped i don't really know what i could say to follow <laughs> that <laughs> that's two of them so oh <laughs> just two huh that's it that i feel comfortable sharing <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much it guys so and that's really it i mean not too bad <laughs> could always be worse god damn you um, could have been me in those situations yep <laughs> <laughs> i think i never told you that that was really bad Sorry, you told guys. me that you told me the brushing teeth one okay the not other the one wash you your hands after you pee no you did not if tell you me don't that. wash your hands even if i go in the bathroom just to look at my lips i'll wash my hands like I mean, I don't makeup? know about that. It depends on which bathroom where, like, context. Or if I'm, like, at a restaurant. Like, if I just oh. go to the bathroom and I powder my face, I'm still going to wash my hands because I'm going in the bathroom. I honestly don't know. Because I don't really go in the bathroom unless I have to use the bathroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, you know, I need to, like, check and see if I bled or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's normally I need the stall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I have to touch up, I just do it at the table. Like, I don't give a fuck. I have a, I have a little hand mirror. I don't need to go. I don't need to excuse myself oh, to do that. Oh, do you? I'll do it in front of you. Okay, do you have one to share with the class? Um, or do you think we should start reading them and then they'll inspire you? I mean, there's really only one guy that I dated and it was right before I started dating Billy that like there were there was shit that I was ignoring purposely. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, not intentionally, but purposely I was like that. That's bad and I shouldn't ignore it, but I did. Um, well, that's intentional, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying I wasn't like, oh, I wasn't consciously thinking like, oh, that's so bad. I should probably ignore that. Sure. I was just ignoring it. Does that make sense? Okay. It's like I was just like, like it oh. didn't ex- it didn't happen. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, okay. I mean, the first red flag I remember was like he lied to me about his age, but like by a lot. 
So, like, when I first met him, I was 21. Mm-hmm. And he told me he was 25. Okay. And I was like, okay, that's not bad. Like, 25 is not bad. Yeah. And then, like, obviously, we, you know, start hanging out. And then the, the next time we hang out and he's sober, he, he mentions to me that he graduated in a single digit year from high school to which i was like well, hold on how old are you and then he told me he was 29 and i was like okay well that's that's like a large gap first of all from me but also the lie yeah and also why would you lie about that like, i remember thinking like he goes oh because i'm so much sexier when i'm 29 <laughs> well no that's that's what made me so then i go why did you tell me you were 25 he goes i never said that he immediately started gaslighting me he's like because 25 rhymes with 29 so that's why you think i said 25 <laughs> yeah. but we were drinking but he was like he kept going well we were drinking and i go no uh, no no i'm i'm a fucking virgo i don't forget shit like that i mm-hmm. never do no matter how fucked up i was i never forgot me anything. Either, yeah. so i was like that's and i remember thinking that's not we were sitting on my bed and i was like, like that's not true like i was like you told me you were 20, 25 no i didn't and then i was just like oh okay but he slipped up and told me he graduated like 2006 or some shit like that. And I said, hold. You're like, oh my God, I was in the fifth grade. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't even a freshman in high school till 2009. Yeah. That's what made me go, wait, hold on. <laughs> like, So that's like something stupid and minute. But I mean, I don't know. I guess the biggest one was just like him telling me that he was about to have a baby. And I was like, okay. I didn't want to be a stepmom by any means, but I was just kind of like, well. Oh, and then you found out that. Yeah, then I found out I was the other woman. So then you left yeah well yeah and i even said i'm like well i don't want to be a stepmom what am i still doing and i still like you know was entertaining it Mm. for reasons i don't know don't know i don't think i've ever told you this (laughs) (laughs) i just got so (laughs) sweet i don't know if i've ever told you this next thing i'm about to say i don't think i've ever told you this (laughs) why'd you say it like that i don't know because I just remembered it and I told my Wait, hair. Wait, can we leave this in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I told my hair extension girl. Anyways, this guy, like. This is the same guy. Yeah. Okay. And he was really good mm-hmm. at, first of all, the gaslighting. Yeah. But also, like, he was a really good sweet talker. Like, the shit he would say, like, to, like, come on. Like, no, it's fine. Like, he would say shit. Like, and it, I was like, okay. Even though I'm so easily irritated for some reason, I couldn't. This was different, right? So, anyways this wasn't the real me (laughs) yeah i don't know who the fuck that bitch was that was talking to him but anyways he didn't have any social media remember i told i told you that yeah and And even and even you couldn't find him but i found his high school stats yeah (laughs) yeah i that's why we confirmed how old he was now yes yes i started going insane because like he would not leave me alone but then also like wouldn't commit to me for obvious fucking reasons and this is before i found out about the other girl mind you I, i had no idea that was happening uh and so i started looking him up all the time like i was trying to find shit on him because i was yeah. like there's you're lying to me about something else you if lied. i had a middle name i would have found everything <laughs> yeah and yeah. he didn't have a middle name in quotation marks allegedly you're literally local of course you you have seven middle names no what are you shit about? and so i was like looking like looking, looking, constantly yeah. looking then i found one link on like page fucking 13 on yeah. google and it was to college because he had told me that he got a scholarship a football scholarship to a school on the mainland and I, I don't want to say which one because I already said he went to St. Part Louis. 30, who the fuck did I marry? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So then he, he, he got a scholarship there and then he told me that um, it didn't work out and he had to move home. Okay. But he didn't tell me why. Yeah. Right. But he did. It, the way that he said it to me made it sound like he missed home and he had like six brothers. And so like he had, which is also, which was true because I did confirm that at the very least. And so then he had to move home and then he just never went back to school. Right. Okay. He just started working. So I looked that up. The scholarship part was true. Mm-hmm. Right. Found that announcement. Kept digging. Why he got kicked out. Yeah. He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me he got kicked out. He said he left. Yeah. But right? the reason why he left, he lied about. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, so okay. then I was like, OK, then I started digging even more. Then I found a police report that was a part of an article that I couldn't read because it was behind a paywall. And oh. I spent money. And I, then you asked me for money. Guess how much tampons. Guess how much spaghetti. money I spent on that article just so I could read it. Mm, like 50 bucks. No, not that but much. 20, $25. Yeah, I would have too. Part well, 50. <laughs> who the fuck did I And I, I only had a hundred dollars to my name. No, I know. That's what I said. And then the next day you called me for. Money that's for not true. <laughs> I used to give her money all the time. It's not a big deal. No, I know, but I'm saying you. it did. That didn't happen that week, but I was <laughs> willing. That was another time. That was a different time, <laughs> but I was willing to spend 20. 
I paid $25 to an archival newspaper website. And what did you find? Just so I could read. What I found was that he went out with his teammates, got fucked up, right, at, like, a bar or something, left, got into a huge, like, brawl of sorts, and beat the living shit out of someone. <gasps> like, a guy. Like, they, they fought, and yeah. then he clearly won because that guy got hospitalized. <gasps> And then he was severely injured because in, it's a fight. And, like, he was kind of injured but not. Yeah. And he got cut from the fucking team because that kid and his parents pressed charges. Yeah. And, yeah, so he got kicked off the team because he got a fucking charge. He caught a fucking case. That's crazy. And then he got sent home <laughs> because he got fucking a charge. And that's why he couldn't keep playing because he had a fucking record. Damn. And, they and you know, football notoriously doesn't give a fuck if they have records depending on what it is but here they do yeah so he had to, he had no choice but to go home damn and i was and i paid 25 dollars to read that anyways and then you stayed with him yep <laughs> <laughs> that was probably about three months before it got cut off so anyways it's crazy because i still think mine's worse yours is much worse Yours is far worse. Would I rather stay Mine's with someone more. who has me as the other woman and I don't know? Or would I rather be with someone who doesn't, doesn't brush their teeth who, at who night? Who admittedly doesn't brush their teeth at night. It's real Sophie's choice. I, I don't know. know what to tell you. Probably probably yours. Depends on who you ask, I, I guess. guess. Yeah. Mine's bad, too. Well, and also, I did not, like, stay with him when I found out I was the other woman. <laughs> I stayed with him when I found out he assaulted someone almost to death and then, like, <laughs> and then got kicked off the football team for it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's also terrible, so. That's pretty bad. Okay, so we asked all of you to send in yours. It's a lot. Thankfully, a lot of these are really funny and silly, which is what I wanted. Yeah. Because while I do know, because I have experienced that we experience a lot of trauma with people that we end up staying with. Yeah. We wanted to keep the mood a little lighthearted and fun. Yeah and silly and a lot of these are silly mm -hmm. okay so this this is literally the very first one we got this is from cat she said a couple silly things my ex did not the ones that broke me and brought me to my knees <laughs> would be he would he loved to splash in muddy puddles in the rain while wearing socks and drinking full classes of cow's milk by choice <laughs> did you ever get a reason for the puddle thing like was he just like into the like that doesn't make any sense at all but like <laughs> especially with socks like wet socks is the worst feeling in the world yeah what kind of serial killer shit is that i don't know you like going in the in the elements with socks on and no Both shoes of those combined sound like someone you would date in like the fifth grade i was gonna say not a when you're when he's splashing in these when he's splashing in these puddles in his socks is he is he sandwiched between two loving parents who are <laughs> swinging him because that's he like, has a little milk mustache that seems like the only appropriate age to do that where it's not weird yeah that one's pretty bad the cow's milk thing is gross but like we were just talking about that i don't i don't know how damning that is but it is gross and i would do my best to get them off that yeah immediately but the puddle thing yeah yeah i'm not into that <laughs> yeah. let's go ahead and retire that hobby player you're not doing that in front of me anymore okay this next one's from reagan she said he called me on the way to his house for the when it was like the first time she went to his house mm -hmm. to let me know that he's a felon in two states and i still went me <laughs> me i submitted that the way i'd get so scared i'd be like oh cool yeah no worries and then i'd hang up and turn around and go home <laughs> That's actually no worries at all. I actually don't care. That's totally I like fine. literally can't talk shit. Wait, but is it I like literally can't talk shit. I can't. I is it can't. a nonviolent crime at least? A felony, no. <laughs> like if it's a felony, no. You get, there's nonviolent ones, but yeah. Like what? Like, like, like selling drugs. You think white collar crime is, <laughs> is what he got in trouble for? What if he got in trouble for selling drugs. Those are nonviolent crimes. I think some people would classify that as a violent crime. I guess it depends. Yeah. You're talking about if assault is involved? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if on the phone you were like, well, what were the crimes? Just so I know. Because that will determine whether or not I turn around. You, and then he tells me and I, I don't like it. And you just hear my blinker turn on because I'm, I'm like, turning oh. around. Going home. And, 
yeah oh that's actually no worries i go home <laughs> and then i go home it says has stopped sharing location <laughs> I just blocked you. Your messages turned green. For real. This next one's from Lindsay. She said, my ex kept a Ziploc bag of all of his nail clippings since high school. I was with him for six whole years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the one right there. Yeah. If a man showed me that. Yeah. See, how much shit can I talk when I was kissing someone for a really long time who didn't brush their teeth at night? I don't know. But. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Yeah that is <laughs> what's the re like i feel like i need to know the reasoning it doesn't fucking matter because you're gross regardless yeah, yeah, yeah but like why yeah i don't know i don't know at what point you first of all start doing that but also stop like do you just <laughs> you just can't stop anymore you know what i mean like you mm -hmm. just have to keep that's really fucking gross what if when he showed you that bag, you're like, if you give me a hundred dollars, I'll smell it. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? So you just do some gross kid dare shit. You, you try know to like out. You try to like out gross him. Yeah, yeah. If you're you like, give me three dollars, I'll eat two of them. Yeah. If you give me a hundred dollars, I'll sniff it. Not even a hundred. Like you, like something dumb. I'll do it for free. Actually. Okay, I'll fine. Do I'll do it for free. Five dollars. Final offer. <laughs> Twenty bucks says I eat these. You know, you just say something fucking gross. But, like, in the cadence of, like, a YouTube thumbnail. Like a little kid. <laughs> like a little kid, like. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds you eat that? You eat that whole bag of toenail clippings. And then he gets mad and calls you gross and weird and breaks up with you. Yeah. Then Damn. you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What if he's super into it, though, and then it's just like, then you're married. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, he just won't get the hint. Damn. Okay, this next one's from Gabby. She said, this is so gay, but this was when I went to visit my long-distance ex-girlfriend, and I got to her basement suite. She pulled out a ukulele and started serenading me while I sat on her bed. <laughs> it was mortifying, and we dated for four months. I'm not joking, guys. It's after that? Or, like, yeah. <laughs> that was at the four-month No, cutoff. after that, four God. months. I, I, I was just laughing about this with Billy, but, like, because I think we watched something, but I was telling him, I don't think there's anything more humiliating, like... There's nothing more humiliating, more humiliating to me than being serenaded. Like, yeah, especially alone. Yeah. At least in front of other people, I can kind of like play off the crowd kind of thing alone. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't find that romantic at all. <laughs> I don't see that as a romantic gesture. I see that as a threat. <laughs> That's an open and aggressive threat. Like you're not romanticizing me you're antagonizing me <laughs> <laughs> like you're like you pissing know in, me off you know in starstruck when she finally gets to the prom and he's singing Dog. to her and he comes into i like literally remember <laughs> one the one less lonely girl thing with justin bieber ah uh, that doesn't count i would want him i want to be his one less lonely girl. you know i would think so and then i get up there and then i'm crying because i'm embarrassed but as, but as soon as he starts <laughs> Have like trying seen... to be like cute and and hot and sexy, yeah. I can't do it. I Have you ever it. seen that it. video of him performing that on the Ellen Show and he points at Ellen and then she's standing there going, "Yeah, like he keeps looking at her and she's yeah. like, she got everything I need." And yeah, she's just standing there I... It's just especially when a man does it. Yeah. Oh man, I don't take men seriously in any When a man ever. does, when a man does it, like. I get angry just I was thinking just about think it. I was just going to say, immediately I'm mad. Like, remember when those proposal videos were super viral on YouTube and then it was Marry You by Bruno Mars? Yeah, the the dance. What are the What's that dance called? A flash mob. Yeah. And they would do... And they're running around, like, kicking their feet up behind... It's a beautiful night. Don't piss, piss me, me off. off. Don't. Don't. Don't! You start yelling. That would be me. No! As soon as it starts. As soon as the. <laughs> do, 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 as soon as that. Don't! 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 Stop! For real! Stop! I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I told you I don't! didn't want this. Just don't! And I'm your sister going, I told you she didn't want. <laughs> I'm going to tell Billy to do a flash mob for, God, your, for dude, your proposal. Stop, okay? Don't! Just tears in your eyes. It's just, 
<laughs> just from a from afar <laughs> like he's down because they're always in an amphitheater how the fuck are you always in an amphitheater and if you are in an amphitheater are you not like are you always in one where that's not weird yeah like I don't go into high school amphitheaters often. No. If I do, it's for a very specific reason. It's because so I'm if- actually, because I'm in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at the age where I'm getting engaged, so. Or like my fucking cousin is in a recital and it's like her little brother <laughs> yeah, playing yeah, yeah, the flute. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's the only, so like, how the fuck do you walk all the way in there and you sit down and you're watching people dance that you know personally and you're not like, something going on? Yeah. I kind of feel the same way when people do those like movie theater ones and they have like Well, a, that one's a little less obvious. And they have like, like a fake commercial playing. Well, that one's a little less obvious because you could be going to the movies all the time with your significant no, other. I'm saying I would be embarrassed if someone did that to me. No, that one's not that bad. I think because everything embarrasses me. Yeah. No, the movie one, like, depending on, like, if I'm watching him act, like, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, maybe. But, like. And it's, like, a cartoon version of us. I'm mad. But the so ones Why I've, can't we watch this at home? Why do I have to watch it in front of everyone? <laughs> why do you make me do this in front of everyone? Well, that's why I think the movie theater ones are different to me, because a lot of times they're alone in the theater, or sure. there's only, like, two people in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, and they're the ones capturing the moment, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay. But, again, if you're in the theater alone, like, I mean, I'm assuming at some point they're like, oh, my God, what if this is the moment? But the amphitheater shit, like, you're watching people you know dance in a tuxedo and you're not uh, at any point going, is something going on? And that's why as soon as I they pull up and I'm in the amphitheater, I'm refusing to go inside. Yeah, I'm no, not getting out. not doing that. You guys are just fighting in the car. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. There's, like, he has, like, a fucking white waistcoat on because yeah. they're always dressed in a tuxedo. Yeah. Cumberbund. Dude, there's, like, an episode of The Office where he wants to propose to holly yeah um but he's like oh let me i actually i don't think i'm gonna do it now because they talk him out of doing something crazy and then she tries to propose to him and he goes as soon as she goes i was thinking like michael and they're sitting in the break room and he goes nope 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 and he just stands up and walks out and then he's doing his interview and he goes i am not being proposed to in the break room no he goes should have burned this place down when i had a chance (laughs) that's how i feel about that shit no that's why I said, don't, don't. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm all pissed off. Immediately mad. <laughs> yeah, being serenaded is awful. Follow up question How many more times did you get serenaded throughout the last four months? My guess is a lot. I just like playing a ukulele in front of me. Also, I don't want to assume your race, but giving white people a ukulele was a curse. One of the worst things our culture ever did. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you sit in that, but like <laughs> white people getting access to tiny guitars was a mistake. Was. We should have never given them that. If I could go back in time, I would stop that exchange. I would stop <laughs> colonization and I would stop them getting the yeah. ukulele. Those are two pivotal moments Which I in feel like if I stopped colonization, they would never have gotten the ukulele. They would have found a way. <laughs> I That is a star... Uh, two stars that have crossed that I need to uncross if I get the chance. Yeah. They're like, you, you have a chance to go back in time, but only to one moment where you're going. The part where they get ukuleles. <laughs> That's the part I'm going back <laughs> to. Okay, this next one's from Elizabeth. She said, I paid for his rent for months because he told me he was broke. I eventually found out that his mom was also paying his rent, so he was just pocketing my money. I was a full-time college student, and I babysat every day after class for cash. Aww. He worked part-time at a vape shop because, of course, he did. I still stayed. Also, he got married to the girl he cheated on me with nine months after I broke up with him. And he wore the tie that I got him for a three-year anniversary to his own wedding. <laughs> Damn. Let her get up. That's like, Damn, bitch. You were getting fucked up. <laughs> Let her get up. Am I the asshole? And then that's what you mean. <laughs> Let her get up. Fight back. Fight <laughs> back. Shit. Give her a chance. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I just like was never ending. It got worse with every sentence. I know. Jesus. And, and, and you wore a tie. I got you to your fucking wet. You know what? Men don't deserve anything. The fact that they do. That's shit. exactly what I was talking about. Also, that man, jo- Jordan Belfort. <laughs> like, he's just scamming. <laughs> he's scamming multiple women at once. The women in his life he's supposed to love and take care of. That's fucking insane. That's crazy, bro. 
Damn. So that's something you hear on two hot takes and then you're like am i the asshole for leaving him no you're not am i the asshole for treating my girlfriend like this and they list out all of those yeah. fucking things well first of all she would not, i made her pay my rent but it wasn't really rent it was just money for me to have and you were working so hard girl that's such a fucking terrible experience i'm so sorry that happened to you <laughs> yeah, like, that my, was bag! <laughs> my bag my bag just kept going <laughs> god uh, okay this next one's from christina she said um he let food sit out all night in the pan on the stove and would just heat up the pan over and over for two whole days two days and wait there's more he didn't wash his hands after number two unless i reminded him and he brushed his teeth like once a week he was also a huge manipulator did we date the same person <laughs> damn not only is he reheating that old ass food but he's putting poop hands all over it <laughs> poop paws poop paws <laughs> you got poop on your digits and you're scrambling up eggs poop Girl. paws pan that's gross <laughs> that's gross poop in a pan <laughs> just reheating the poop. How do you like your poop? You know what else he has? How do you like your poop? Over easy. <laughs> he goes reheat it every day. I was just say he's also got plaque in there too. <laughs> poop, plaque, and a pan. In a pan. <laughs> what more could you ask for, really? Poo paws on the pan. <laughs> I'm putting it into a plaque-filled mouth. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> And you were having sex with that man? Yeah, periodontal disease. That's awful. He had periodontis and poop. <laughs> <laughs> he had all of that and no pride. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Dude, see, do you see what I'm like? I will never understand. I will never understand when men are like, how could you say you hate all of us? You guys, sometimes I'll be silly and tell Drew that I like men. I don't. I'm always lying. She's a liar. Um, and then I read star- star- stories like that and I go... Exactly. You're right. I don't. You're right. It's worse. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I literally... They're like, how could you hate all of us? <laughs> it's just like when we laughed about, I'm, oh, I'm, we're going to see some tits. Yeah. That guy, like when I was saying like, that's just a normal guy. Yeah. He's just walking around. These are just men walking around among. They're living <laughs> amongst us, and then I feel like that that noise. Meow. <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> you just see a cloud of smoke in the shape of my body. Anytime a, a straight cis man comes near me, it's like meow. Do, 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 do. That mm. fucking among us noise plays every time. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's my senses tingling, dude. And then I'm like, you guys you make me so mad and then they have the nerve to be rude to women yeah they operate like that and they have the nerve to talk shit i know i barely brush my teeth and i never wash my hands and i eat rotten food every day but i can't believe you're not but (laughs) at least i'm not like you need to like not be so fucking fat like i'm not doing that i just feel like you're really picky yeah i just feel like you need to lower your standards because like (laughs) you're never gonna find anybody if that's the case who it with those as the options who gives a fuck if i'm alone (laughs) that's what i think i agree what the fuck i agree that's insane okay i'm gonna read these last two they're kind of similar to one another so this first one's from lexus she said he told me he didn't date hot girls and that's why he was with me and i stayed (laughs) hold on wait and this next one's from i think it's amelie and she said his friend asked who in my group of girlfriends he would fuck and he didn't pick me we had been together for four years at this (laughs) point (laughs) if you guys have never dated someone and you ask them who's your celebrity crush and they pick some they pick someone that doesn't look anything like you you haven't lived life at that point Mm. my girlfriend's best friend yeah i'd fuck her wait there's another one right here this is from olivia she said he told me my best friend had nice tits and a fat ass and i stayed and they're now married (laughs) these were all submitted back to back to back these are all in a line of women that's crazy i'm sick to my fucking stomach and i would just like for it to also be noted that there was only one gay one in here and it was just really cringy not gross so (laughs) can i can i be vulnerable with y'all for a second i don't know if this is a hot take okay but i would rather 
have poo pants <laughs> than a bitch who looks me in the <laughs> eyes and calls me ugly. Girl, yeah, fuck you. I feel that. Because I guarantee. I'd rather date someone who doesn't wash their hands after they poo, girl, doesn't brush their teeth, than date someone who tells me, your best friend has a really nice fucking I'm rack. I'm picking periodontists every yeah. fucking time. I don't give a shit. But also, yeah. I mean, fuck both of them. But at least it's not that. Yeah. Like, that type of shit. And I guarantee this. Every single person that said that, like all the similar stories, like all those three, mm -hmm. I guarantee you're fucking hotter than that person. Yeah. This is nothing more than a negging shit, dude. Mm -hmm. It's literally meant to like mentally break you down so that you stay with them because I'm sure they had a whole bunch of other shit that was, uh, they probably a periodontist too. Yeah. And on top of that, they're acting like that. Cause even some of them, she was like, and he was a manipulator. Yeah. On top of the fact that he was putting poop on my food, he's getting fecal matter. He's feeding me fecal matter and rotten food <laughs> and a slide of plaque. And yeah, and he's kissing me and he, his teeth feel like they have mittens on them. <laughs> he's doing all oh, he has a fuzzy tongue. His teeth feel like they're covered in moss. Yeah, he has he has moss on his tongue, right? And I was like, and and he calls me ugly. And he cheats on me. Girl. Come on. <laughs> when I hear shit like that, that's literally where I that made the hairs on my back stand up. I'm not even kidding. Which one do you think is the worst out of all three of those? I just God, said? I don't. Probably the group one. I think the group one too. The group. You. They're do, all really bad. They're all really you know bad. What? They're all awful. They're all two sides of the same yeah. coin. But the group one, bitch. Like, and what's even worse about that is that wasn't even for you. Yeah. That was to neg you and to impress his fucking friends. And it was, yeah, it was his friend who asked. That's crazy. Which of these women in this room with your girlfriend would you fuck? You quickly know. well not my girlfriend her well not my fat ugly girlfriend for sure her what, what? the fuck <laughs> i fucking hate men i hate them <laughs> <laughs> you guys can i be vulnerable with you i, I hate, hate men i hate them and they know i hate them and i don't give a fuck if they hear me say i hate them i dude that's horrible i and i and i honestly think like i would rather take poop particle hands even though he's probably just as bad like, he probably verbally, acts just like that yeah they're always the same guy yeah. like that's the worst part and i told you it's nothing more than a mind game it's like to trick you because they want you to like settle for them and mm -hmm. if they keep breaking if they're like well i mean you're you're like a strong six and you've been together for two years yeah oh word you could get someone better looking that's why you're with me oh okay mm -hmm. sure <laughs> like yeah fucking sure that's what i'm saying if you've never dated someone whose celebrity crush looks nothing like you girl you haven't lived life left yet you guys that has happened <laughs> to me so canon canon event can't can interfere can't interfere canon event can't interfere it's like I... the skinniest whitest blondest woman you can think of and you're like oh oh <laughs> got it oh uh, i thought got i was it. gonna oh okay thank god i thought it was gonna hurt my feelings <laughs> 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 and i've told you all that me and billy don't have celebrity crushes and that's why like we both equally believe that we could get anybody we wanted and i i stand by that still to this day i don't have that many either what celeb crushes <laughs> I, I, was don't. Like, I was like you know what i'm talking about right because that's not true what you just actively lying to me <laughs> i don't have many no they're today like, i don't have well i have i have like two right now oh okay never mind i can't relate i don't know <laughs> I think because I'm, I'm already manifesting that I'm going to date one of them. So maybe that's why. Period. But. And you probably could. I Actually, I know for a fact you fucking could. And that's what I tell all of you all the fucking time, especially if you date men. Yeah, you could probably get him. Yeah. Who are you thinking of? Yeah. Probably. I'm not thinking of a man. No, she's not. But I know if you are, yeah, you could probably get him. Yeah. yeah. Probably. I mean, they need to learn how to brush your teeth, wash their hands first. Yeah. Well... I mean, I would One hope at a time. I would hope that celeb. I mean, I don't, honestly, no, never mind. I should, you know what? Retract that <laughs> statement immediately. Doesn't fucking matter. Like if men are disgusting, regardless. They're, yeah, they could be the richest, most, most talented, famous, athletic. Man in the world. Yeah, and, and I'm sure. I, I know for a fact there are probably plenty of celebrity men that have gone on record jokingly saying that they don't wash their ass. Wait, let's let's both say one at the same time that we think doesn't wash their ass, or 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 at least not well um yeah we'll say not well i would hope they do a little okay let me think okay <laughs> okay ready? i already know what you're saying i feel like you think okay i'm gonna say that one first yeah glenn paul right yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> me just constantly bullying i think about, he washes his butt no I no that. i no i that's not a real answer i do think he looks like he could be clean yeah like he looks like someone who smells like soap or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah no if i'm being for real yeah i thought of someone okay let's hear it well maybe not hold on <laughs> let me change my answer <laughs> wait i have one because okay. he's actually admitted he doesn't wash his okay ass. go ahead ashton kutcher yeah 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 yep Dak Shepard and that white guy stench smells like wet yeah. sponge they said they keep themselves pretty clean for the most part like cats <laughs> <laughs> you know I know they don't wash their ass good yeah like when I when when tuna <laughs> when tuna's cleaning his toes before bed I'm like guys could do that <laughs> grown adult men could do that well she, like grown a grown adult, man grown adult human men could do that they can do that that's easy <laughs> Yeah, those are the men I think of first. I also thought of Brad Pitt. I don't know that he showers good. Yeah, he looks stinky. Like I was gonna say Timothy, <laughs> <laughs> but then I said, well, oh, probably. I not. think Timothy showers good. Yeah, I was gonna say probably not. I think he showers. That's good. just me being silly. Yeah, that's just me being silly. I think he. Yeah, I think it's Timmy's mostly good. like old, older, like not old, but like older <laughs> celebrities. You're like Robert Redford. He does not watch Russell Crowe. Doubt it. <laughs> Yeah, doubt it. Yeah, doubt it. I don't believe you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm glad we ended on what famous men we think don't wash their ass because that's a great way to end this episode. I think so. If you did enjoy it, you can listen to other episodes ever. You can listen to podcasts and the video version is always on our YouTube channel. Yep. We also have our Patreon. We post a lot of exclusive fun content on there. We just had a vlog go live uh, last week of us in New York. And it was really cute and NYC. fun. NYC the oh. big apple <laughs> in case you were confused um <laughs> and then we'll also have a cowboy carter uh themed episode up there soon i'm not sure when but you'll see it when you see it yes uh don't forget tour announcements are coming soon so keep an eye out for that if you are on the patreon you get first dibs of something that's I don't just know. us being honest that's just me being honest sorry to say sorry but other than that we love you we're gonna be doing a part two to this next week so hopefully more of you submit more stories yes other than that we love you and we'll see you next week bye bye